He's in trouble. Take your pants off. Excuse me? Randy! He might still be alive if you hadn't been born. Infants don't blow up taxi cabs, Mr. Alden. That's a job for extortionists. I want you to tell me who gave you the briefcase. I can't. Why not? I'm scared. The man who called said he was an insurance agent and that the premium for our new policy would be $5,000 a week. And whoever got it was trying to get me, too. Glad you're here, Mike. I wouldn't want to have to manage this alone. I like to think of it as an overture to a nighttime concert where eight million instruments are jamming to eight million different beats. They make a lot of noise, but sometimes they make music too. That night I was in the mood for music, but first I had to take care of a little noise. I'd gotten an anonymous phone call that brought me to a part of town I didn't even like during the day. It was about a guy I'd helped put away ten years ago named Eric Liebler, a slime bucket who liked to make adolescent girls into porno stars. Much to my chagrin, the anonymous caller turned out to be Liebler himself. He was out on parole and anxious to return the favor. I knew I should have stayed home and listened to Sinatra. As fate would have it, I wasn't the only private eye doing business in the neighborhood. God, I thought you weren't coming. She didn't go to jazzercise tonight. I had trouble getting away. No. No way. She's happy. Content. And she's taking you to the cleaners. Case closed, pal. Let's go. Wait a minute. This is just starting to get interesting. Come here. Hey. Oh, come on. Lady's got a body that won't quit. Yeah, well, neither will our case load. I want to see if anything's come in on the Alden thing. Ten years, Hammer. Ten years I spent in that hellhole. That your best shot, Liebler? My first. 3,649 to go. Hey, it's Hammer. He's in trouble. 
Come on. They're going to shave that alley with his face. What? Oh. And if you're still alive when I'm finished, then maybe, just maybe, I'll kill you to put you out of your misery. Do me a favor. What? Brush your teeth first. Takes out an adversary without hurting him. What fun is that? <laughs> it's good to see you guys. You showed up in the nick of time. Thanks. Losing your touch, huh, Hammer? I see you're still hanging out with Mr. Wizard. What's the matter, Scott? Not getting enough kicks from the celebrity divorce circuit? See, I told you we should have let him take his lumps. Will you take it easy? Listen, do me a favor, will you? Keep an eye on this garbage and I'll call sanitation. Try 911. Still intimidated by technology, aren't you, Mike? Only in the hands of amateurs. You got your technology hot shot, I got mine. I don't understand why you work with that yo-yo. Oh, come on, Mike. Hey, Scott has some rough edges, but he's got a first-rate mind. That's what they said about Dr. Frankenstein. You really trust him, huh? Oh, well, yeah. I still think he'd be better off working alone. Two units coming in. Look, I'll wait for him. Thanks, kid. I owe you one. No way, Mike. We're not close to even yet. The next time I saw Randy Baylor was a lot sooner than I expected. He talked his partner into coming to see me about a case they were on. It seemed that someone was putting the muscle on a top fashion designer for a lot of green. Distortion, huh? Whose arm's being twisted? It's Oliver Alden. Oliver Alden? Oliver Alden? Well, you say that like it's a name I'm supposed to know. Who's Oliver Alden? Fashion designer, second coming of Calvin Klein. You have heard of Calvin Klein. Yeah, we play on the same bowling team. So has he paid off? No, he refused. But listen to this. Two days later, an entire shipment of Italian silks went into the Hudson. By accident. Now, we'd already done some divorce work for Oliver, so he hired us to find out who was shaking him down. He came up with the name of Calbar. Jake Calbar. Jake Kelbar, this is a name I know. The garment industry's been his territory for years. If Kelbar plays hardball, fellas, you guys are way out of your league. If you're not careful, you could wind up getting knocked out of your jocks. Hey, we played it real cool, Mike. We kept a low profile. We even put out the word that we're only interested in acquiring records, documents, whatever we can use as evidence. And? Well, nothing yet. I thought you might have some ideas on how we might... Yeah. Hello? 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 Antactigations, Warren. Yeah! Where? When? Yeah, 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 all right. That's the one. Calbar? Come on, we're out of here. Legs like that, you ought to be working for us. You couldn't afford me, sweetheart. Any suggestions? Yeah. Forget this gig and get your thrills on Coney Island. Okay, spend the rest of your life in the Smithsonian. See if I care. Hmm. What a charmer. I wonder where Randy found him. I don't know. But he's right about one thing. What's that? You do have nice legs. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Get 
shoes? I'm gonna go with, yeah, okay. Hold up, hold up, Becky. We'll catch you then. All right? This is needed for about 10 minutes. Makeup, wild hair, like a model or something. Come on. What's going on? Looks like his partner took a high hard one, Mike. Randy was in there? Yep. Where were you? Hey, I'm as upset about it as you are, so back off! Not until you tell me what happened. No, stop it! Come on! What's the matter with you? The kid was on a case and he came to me for help. He might still be alive if you hadn't been born. It was our case, Hammer. Now it's mine. You stay out of it. Hey, you hold it. You're coming down to headquarters with me. I need a composite of that model. You gotta get you together with the identical people. Stay right there. Mike? I always liked Randy. Ever since the days he hung around my office until I finally let him back me up on a couple of cases. I gave him some advice. Always work alone. Too bad he didn't take it. If I was going to find out who killed Randy, I'd have to start with the man who hired him. Oliver Alden. So what do you think? <laughs> Good friend. I hate it. You hate it. What? Do it in Peach. Peach? I hate you, Peach. I know you hate Peach. Do it in Peach. Okay, Peach. We'll have to change the whole group then. Well, but look, if we do the skirt on the bias, the right. skirt will be much better if we do the top and peach. Uh, Oliver Sorry. will be with you in just a minute. Why don't you That's make right. yourself comfortable? Thanks. Maybe we should fill in the armhole a bit, too. Uh, no. Peach, leave it to top like that and cut the bottom on the bias. Oh, peach. <laughs> Oliver. Yeah. Fix it, Willie. Uh, my camera, this is Oliver Alden. How do you do, Mr. Alden? I mean, as you know, Randy was working for me when he was killed. I know he was a friend of yours. I'm sorry. I feel responsible. You're not alone, believe me. We never met, but Oliver said that he was a fine young man. He was. Mr. Alden, Randy told me that you refused to pay them off. Yeah. Sickness has been spreading through this industry for too many years. Somebody had to stand up to him. How were you contacted? By phone. You spoke to them? No, Marion did. She's my administrative assistant. Couldn't get through the day without her. It was about a month ago. The man who called said he was an insurance agent and that the premium for our new policy would be $5,000 a week. It's a nice round number. How was the money supposed to be transferred? Never got that far. I grabbed the phone, told him we wouldn't pay. And he said he could cause us all sorts of trouble, and I exploded and told him his methods of coercion were infantile and hung up. Infants don't blow up taxi cabs, Mr. Alden. That's a job for extortionists. Did they contact you uh, since then? No. As far as I know. No. I think they will. When they do, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a call. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Hammer. Just one moment. I like that hat. It's a great look. It's a great, great look. It's got a... An earthy honesty. Well, thanks. I'll pick it up myself. You know that war surplus store on 23rd Street? <laughs>
Agony. Oliver Alden's spring collection was splattered all over his walls. I grabbed one of the pieces and headed straight for the man I'd vote most likely to be responsible, Jake Kelbar. If you like to play with bombs, he could be the one who blew Randy to the morgue. Scott had gone to see Kelbar too, but he didn't get very far. Hammer. With pleasure. I don't need you. That's the best news I've heard all day. Mike! Mike, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But you need me. Look, all right, you got a lot of miles on the clock. Go on, call it experience. That's okay. But I got the background on this case. I got the files. And I have technology. I'll call you the next time my TV breaks down. Look, we both promised to nail whoever killed Randy. I'm working on it. And whoever got him was trying to get me, too. We were obviously getting close to something. You want to go back to square one? Now, whether you like it or not, I could be helpful. Okay. Okay, maybe we can work together. But get this straight. I call the shots. And the first time you or that thing gets in my way, you are back to square one and you're on your own. Understood? All right, understood. Now, look, here's what we do first. We go talk to Kelbar and... All right. What do you want to do first? We go talk to Kelbar. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Well, well. My camera. Genuine pleasure. The pleasure's all yours, pal. Here's what's left of the old Alden line. Nice material. Get it dry clean before you wear it again, Mike. You should have your face clean before you wear it. Nice tie. <clears throat> you put the squeeze on Alden, didn't you, Jake? But he wouldn't pay, so you raised the price to murder. Mr. Kelbar runs a legitimate insurance business. Now, both of you get out of here. Before I call the police. Yeah, be my guest. Hey, it's no secret you run a two-bit protection racket, grabbing all the small change you can get your hands on from the garment wholesalers. And from the looks of things, you seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, I do just fine, Mike. I don't have to kill for it. Bull. My partner's dead, and everything points to you. You're dirty, Kelbar. And all the lies ain't gonna save your butt the next time we cross paths. Scott Warren, you remember that name? Oh, yeah. Get this junior G-man out of here and take this with you. All is not my style, Mike. Believe me, he's not my style. No, your style went out with the plague. Can you get into a size nine? So you think he's telling the truth? If he is, it'll be in the Guinness Book of Records. You want to file a complaint against him? No. But we got to talk about this. We picked up the police sketch of the girl who was in the cab when Randy got killed and headed for an agency that knew every model in town. I told Scott to keep a little black book in his Thank pants. You. Hello? We're looking for a girl. They're waiting on the lamppost on West 45th, darling. This particular girl? They're not too particular on West 45th. Oh, she's a doll, isn't she? Big green eyes, tall, leggy. A wrecked carriage, walks like Queen Elizabeth, only sexy. What you're saying is she's a model. Absolutely. So, is she in your stable or not? No, I wish she was. A girl like that on my roster for the spring collection, we'd clean up. Her type is extremely popular right now, especially with elderly gentlemen with villas in Spain. Hmm. What about here in town? Oliver Alden's got them all locked up for a show today. Every last father's daughter of them. What do you want with her? I'm thinking of buying a villa in Spain. Thanks. Oh, that's great. Now we're cooking. She's at Alden's. It's an inside job. Come on, we're out of here. 
Thanks. Somebody undercovered Alden show. Well, yeah. I can't go. They'd recognize me. Well, I could go as a janitor or a lighting guy. Yeah, that's not exactly what I had in mind. What are you getting at? Don't worry about a thing. Just wet your lips and walk butch. <laughs> Who taught you to walk? A duck? Again. <sighs> These bangs are not going to do. Please do something with them. <laughs> Oliver, please. Very sweetness. You know, we are under the gun here. Right, right. So why am I stuck with this amateur? The man moves like a one-legged kangaroo with gout. Look, Miss Collins, these, these pants, they're too loose. What I'm trying to say here is that everybody, absolutely everybody, looks fabulous in an Alden wardrobe. Oliver, the only way he'll look fabulous is if we nail his feet to the floor and pretend he's a mannequin. You'll do much better during the show. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll try, Mr. Oliver. Take your pants off. Excuse me? I said take your pants off. We'll take them in a little and maybe they'll work. <laughs> Cigarette. Yeah. What'd you pull out of the cab, Dad? Not much left. Some C4 residue and what was left of the debt man. Is there anything like this? Mike, holding back evidence. Where'd you find that? I found it in Alden showroom after the blast. This is it. This is exactly like the device in the cab. Definitely Kelboss style. Little smoke, lot of persuasion. Sorry, Dan. Just my beeper. Hotshot put it in my pocket. The retirement party is Friday. I'm planning on going out with a small bang. What do you got? The model. Mike, I got her. It's her. All right, listen, stay cool. Don't make a move until I get there. I couldn't if I wanted to. Ow! Watch that needle. With an emphasis on fun and casual comfort, we give you the spring line of all Alden fashions for the man and woman on the go. Which one is she? There. Her name's Candace. You sure she's the one? <laughs> if you'd have seen her bend over to straighten those seams, you wouldn't be asking me that. Excuse me, Candace? Yes. My name is Mike Hammer. I'd like to talk to you, if you don't mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going on in a minute. Candace. Concentrating on pastels, this collection features classic Egyptian lines from the tailored style of all that is famous for. What do you want? I want you to tell me who gave you that briefcase. What briefcase? The one with the bright red jack in the box that separated Randy Baylor from his head, remember? Please believe me, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, Candace. 
just make this easy. It'll only take 15 seconds. Make it difficult. It could be 15 years to life. Now, I suggest you tell me who gave you the case. I can't. Why not? I'm scared. There's no reason to be scared. I'll see that you get protection. I like to be protected. No time to be making dates, kids. Candace, you're on, dear, right now. We can talk later. From the vibrant land of enchantment, the portion of the O. Alden line we call Santa Fe. Remember me? Candace knew she took it with her to that big fashion show in the sky. I had to find out who sent her there. Step over here, please. I think we should pay him. He's done with all this. I understand how you feel, Oliver, but I'm not so sure I agree. I sure as hell don't. It started with extortion. But when that suitcase blew Randy into pieces, it put things into a whole different ballpark. That's the point, Mr. Hammer. I don't know if I'm capable of dealing with all this. Well, I am, Mr. Alden. And I'm not going to sit still and let them get away with Randy's murder. Scott, you know what I thought of Randy. I feel terrible about this, but my life's work, my business is being destroyed. Why don't you ask Randy's family for a loan? Look, Mr. Hammer, if pain will prevent further bloodshed, I will pay. Don't make that check out to me, Mr. Alden. What are you doing here? News travels fast in this business, Hammer. That's all I have to say to you. I'm here to see Alden and prevent you from further damaging his reputation with your lies. Your hitman already took care of it. He's right. It's known all over New York. You don't make a move in the garment industry unless you get a piece of the action. I run a respectable business, Captain. There's nothing respectable about you, Kelbar. You're just a two-bit sleazeball whose manicured fingernails can't hide the garbage. <laughs> Mike, what are you doing? Just trying to take the wrinkles out of his suit. Yourself a rabies shot, am I? What, are you gonna bite me, Calvary? So you think Alden's running too scared to hang tough? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. In the meantime, go find a video arcade and lose your allowance. Rather lose you. Wet your lips and walk a butch. You're improving. Keep in touch. In the meantime, I think you and I ought to have a little chat. Oh, and I have a hunch you know a place where we can get a nice cold beer. Your hunch is right. Of course, the bar stools aren't exactly color coordinated. I think I can live with that. You feel secure here, don't you? I do. Comfortable's more like. Most of the customers still have the noses they were born with. <laughs> you usually calls them hardworking stiffs with nice dreams, but very little guile. After a couple of beers. You want to sit down? Sure. You would have liked my father. Hard working. 
32 years as a pattern maker for the same company. He's the one who taught me all about fashion. 32 years is a long time. I've been with Oliver for 12. 12? Then if he was going to vapor lock, you would know it. Keeping the pressure off him is a big part of my job. He doesn't handle it well. Listen, uh, do you think you could keep him under wraps a little longer? I need some more time. I can try. Is there anything you found out that I can use to give him some hope? <sighs> Not really. What can you tell me about Candace? Oh, how much to tell. Um, she looked great in clothes and was dependable other than that. It's not a good idea to get close to the girls who work for you. Mike, you have a call. Excuse me. Yeah. Hang tight, we're on the way. That was all. They made contact and they've raised the ante. One million dollars in untraceable bills or your next showing will go up in smoke. Your only audience will be the NYPD bomb squad. You'll be contacted by phone with further instructions. Oh, Oliver. We'll be fine. We'll get through this. So what are you going to do? I don't have much choice. I mean, one season without a showing in this business and you're finished. In their business, one payment and you're on the hook. Then they reel you in and O. Alden becomes O. Alden and partners. As, as I recall, you made the point yourself. Two people working for me are dead. I can't let this continue. Can you come up with that kind of cash? Some of it. And I have friends. Okay, do what you have to do. We'll stay here and wait for the call. Hello, Samantha. My camera. How's my favorite telephone lady? Good. Listen, darling, I need a favor. Do you think you could put a trace on this line right away? Great. I owe you one, but I'll wait till we have a better connection. Thanks. Bye-bye. Something wrong? No. I don't know whether to sit, stand, or make a wish on that thing. Start with a wish. I better not. I'm glad you're here, Mike. I wouldn't want to have to manage this alone. Set off my smoke alarm. So, should we talk in pig Latin? Come on, tell me, what do you got? Yeah? Where is it? On my way. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart, gotta run. Hot shots, gotta nibble. If they contact you again, call me. I'll be at the Waterworks Disco. Tasmania, Scotland. That's the one. I'll take a double scotch. Hold the water. I'm sorry, sir. We don't have scotch. We only have water. You got any domestic on tap? Mike? Mike! 
This is Lucinda. Hi, Mike. Lucinda? Lucinda and Candace were very good friends. Look out! Okay, listen, now what was Candace into? I don't know. Well, I think you do. Look, these two gorillas didn't come here because they like to boogie. They wanted to blow you away to keep you from talking. Hey, Mike, ease up. Be a little more diplomatic. Listen, you handle the diplomats, hotshot. I want some answers. If I don't get them, I'm gonna have to take you downtown. I don't want to do that, but I'm gonna have to. It's your choice. All right. Candace was into getting out of modeling. She met a guy who was going to give her a way out. She found it all right. She's dead. Who was the guy? I'm not sure. He had money. He was in insurance, I think. Insurance? Name Cal Bar ring a bell? No, that wasn't it. I don't think she mentioned a name. I figured it was a big secret. Like maybe he was married or something. Okay, sweetheart, thanks. I'll be in touch. Hey, uh, what are you doing Saturday night? Come on, man. Bird dog on your own time. You don't have to push her that hard. It's a tough racket. Send her some flowers. What's your reading, Kelbar? He could have taken out Randy and Candace. But this million dollar thing is not his style. He's not in business for one quick hit. He's in for the long haul. A nice monthly income for life. Why would he blow that? I don't buy it. I'm not asking you to. Want to find out for sure? Does an elephant need a nose job? Guys over and want you to shut up. Forget about Hammer. We got more. Kelbar and Winston. Technology strikes again. Put a bug in his office yesterday. You heard anything about it? Not a whisper, Mr. Kelbar. Alden's a big name. If they get him, the other big designers will fall into line. Yeah, maybe. But after what's happened at Alden's, the police are going to be on top of this thing now. Check into it. Well, I hate to admit it, Hotshot, but I think you finally delivered the goods. Mike, they called 20 minutes ago. When's the payoff? Tomorrow morning, International Terminal, JFK. Now, I want to follow the instructions precisely, Mr. Hammer. I won't risk anything happening to Marion. No risk to her. I'll carry the money. I'm afraid they're ahead of you. I have three reservations. Jamaica, Paris, and Rome. When I pick up my tickets at Kennedy, they'll contact me as to which one to take. Pretty slick. We don't even know which country the gig is going down in. Stall them. If you don't show up, you can bet they'll call back. For a million bucks, they'll be more than willing to change your travel plans. <laughs> no! Look, they've already killed two people. I can't take another chance. Well, I just hate giving in to them. What time is the drop? Oh, all the flights are between 6 and 7 a.m. Rush hour. It's going to make surveillance tough. What do I have to say to you people? No surveillance. I want this finished. Even if you pay, pal, it's not going to be finished. Thank you. 
going to be tough to follow in this crowd. Maybe for you. I stuck a transmitter on the back. We don't have to follow her. We can follow the money. So which way is it going? Mary and Collins, please pick up the white courtesy phone. This is the final boarding call for flight 823 London. Now boarding at 817B. Final boarding call for flight 823 to London. Now boarding at 1740. Thank you, Cheryl. Cheryl, please go to the southern information. Uh-huh. Here we go. Relax, I got the money right here. Yeah, there she is. Come on. Yes, please step up. In your first name. Uh, keep coming through, people, please. Thank you. Now Excuse me, sir, you you like this. I'm sorry, you have to have Next, no problem. No, ma'am, you have to leave that. Kelbar's not going to be too happy you're going into business for yourself. Especially using his people to make it look like it was his scam. A million bucks. That's a big grab, pal. Take him. Everybody down. stake squeeze but he had to have someone he was working for someone on the inside Winston had paid for Randy's death now it was her turn hold it right there sweetheart there's nothing first class about you what are you talking about? About a girl Friday working in her boss's shadow who got greedy. Who decided to make it all up in one easy move. A million dollar move. Damn you. I worked for that. I was with Oliver from the beginning. Without me, he'd be nothing, nothing. I earned that money. You also earned a long retirement. But Marion's talents wouldn't go to waste. Where she was heading, she could still design mail bags and license plates. You. you should have tagged the money, not the bag. He's saying I blew it. Every step of the way. So don't beat me, pal. I'll beat you. Well, as long as we're beeping each other. You got any advice for me? Yeah. Always work alone. Well, it looks like it'll be a lot easier for me than it will for you. Keep in touch. It's amazing how 
times change. Here I was looking at a hat and a trench coat on a dummy for 625 bills. Back at the war surplus, you could pick it up for $29.95. For thousands of years, Egypt's secrets were locked in ancient, undecipherable hieroglyphics. But tonight, an all-new Ancient Mysteries cracks the code with the Rosetta Stone at 9 Eastern, 10 Pacific. Now, Remington Steele cracks Hollywood's greatest unsolved mystery, next on A&E.